I don't know what the fuck YouTube is anymore. I'm just gonna start the video off with that. But a ton of people recently have been linking me this video on Twitter. Apparently it's some sort of rant. And apparently a lot of people are getting triggered by it. So today I thought we would watch it together for educational purposes. So without further ado guys, everybody sit back, relax, and let's play this shit. Pa 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 pa. Play that shit! I promised you this. If you shut this weary eye. Ask a gender terrorist? What? A, a gender terrorist? What the fuck is that even supposed to mean? I do like the music though. I'll give this video that. Hey y'all, it's Dakota. Whoa! Holy shit! Oh my god. Well, uh, shit. I, I, I wasn't expecting this. I feel like I have to make one thing clear really quick. I'm assuming this guy is transgendered. I just want to make it clear that I have nothing against the transgendered people. I don't care if you want to be a girl, a guy, a transgendered, a fucking fruit roll-up. I don't hate anybody, alright? But I gotta be real, dude. What the fuck is this guy wearing? He's wearing a fucking safety pin in his nose. He has a beard that looks like a fucking horseshoe. His eyebrows are somewhat non-existent. It seems like someone duct taped fatality that shit. But there's still eyebrows there somewhat. It's like the ghost of his eyebrows. They're like the shadows of what his eyebrows used to be. It seems that his eyebrows came back to haunt him. And that's not even bringing up the fact that he's wearing a fucking tube sock on his head. And it seems that he's hiding something in there. And I don't know what it is and it's starting to bother me. What is is on top of his head. Is that a bread roll? Is it a fucking stress ball? What is that? And chill out everybody, when I first saw it I was worried it was like a tumor or some shit, right? But I looked up another video and no, it's not a tumor. It seems that this dude literally put a baseball into a tube sock and then put it on his head. You know what the tube sock with the bread roll kind of makes him look like? That motherfucker from <laughs> Star Wars. You know, the guy with that long ass head. <laughs> Tell me it does not look like him. Side note, by the way, I know there's gonna be a few people that are like, Leafy, you're being a little bit too ruthless with this. Take some chill, Leafy. Take some chill. I'm only talking about shit that this guy chose to do. I'm not talking about the fact that he's transgendered. Only talking about the stuff that he decided to do. And don't you come and tell me that he didn't choose to put a safety pin in his fucking nose holes. And this is the newest video on my Ask a Gender Terrorist uh, playlist. On okay, time out. I know I already talked about this, but a gender terrorist? What? The definition of terrorism is someone that uses the acts of violence and intimidation for political aims. So wait, this guy is violent? Is that why he keeps a safety pin right underneath his nose? Just in case anybody fucks with him, he can pull that out, whip it out, and slash their throat with it? I mean, I gotta be real, I wouldn't fuck with this guy. I mean, just looking at this dude's beard, I wouldn't be surprised if it's detachable. He can grab that beard, rip it off, and throw it at you like a fucking batarang. But apparently this guy's about to go on a hardcore rant, so let's hear him out. Anyway, this video is something that I have consistently said in my everyday life and I feel like maybe I need to reiterate and just, maybe I just want to make a video that I can link people to when I'm just like dragging them through the mud and I'm tired of their shit. So, uh, my pronouns are not preferred. They're not a preference. They are mandatory for interaction with me. Okay, so let me get this straight. This guy's going on a rant how he refuses to be called he or she. And how, get this, it's mandatory when you interact with him. Or her. Or... Oh, fuck. Now, there's nothing wrong with not wanting to be a he or a she, and wanting your friends to call you neither. That's fine. But this guy's saying it's mandatory in terms of interaction that you can't refer to him as a he or a she. And that's fucking ridiculous, dude. Like, you can't have an expectation for the entire world to not refer to you as a he or a she, when literally almost the entire world refers to people as he's or she's. Just shut the fuck up. Just stop prioritizing your comfort as a cis person over the struggles and the respect and the wishes of trans people. You're wrong, so shut the fuck up. Change your language, like no one is female body, no one is born a girl. Notice how much this guy waves his hands when he talks. It's starting to get a little bit disturbing. But people are born male or female. Like at age two, if you feel that you were born into the wrong sex, that's fine. That's okay. But you were still born a boy. Again, if you want to change that, that's fine. But you are still born a boy, period. Is that okay, Mr. Safety Pin? No one is female body. No one is born a girl. No one is any of that. Like we are assigned genders at birth by doctors who look at us and see certain types of genitalia and decide what our identity will be from there on out. That's an act of violence. That should be stopped. Wait, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> doctors. <laughs> 
<laughs> Doctors that look at our penis and say, That's a male. Yes, he is born a male. That's an act of violence. He needs to be stopped. Forget the fact that he literally gave birth to us and helped decrease the chances of us dying during birth. That's an act of fucking violence. He needs to be sterilized. <laughs> this guy cannot be fucking real, dude. That's not my fucking fault that that happened, and I'm not here to be faulted because I'm living outside of that. So maybe you need to take a step back and like learn a few things um, about other people whose experiences are different than you. Maybe you could do that. Well, it's official, guys. If you're a doctor, you need to shut the fuck up and take some notes from this guy. This guy obviously knows what he's talking about. I mean, look at his background. This motherfucker has an... <laughs> he has an eye chart so we can test his eyes out every fucking five minutes. But seriously, though, what is this background? What are those fucking jars? What are those things? What the fuck? He has some sort of shrine with a bunch of pictures? Is this guy legit a witch doctor? This guy could be a dungeon master. He could legit be a dungeon master. He uses violence. He has a bread roll underneath his hat. He has a fucking horseshoe beard. And that's not even mentioning the fact that he has a weapon underneath his nose. This guy is a legit dungeon master. Um, also, like, I don't identify as non-binary. I, I don't identify as non-binary? What? Is this guy, he's talking about computer programming now? What? No, Leafy, it means that you're not boy or girl. Okay, thanks. I am non-binary. A trans woman doesn't identify as a woman. A trans woman is a fucking woman, okay? So, like, you need to quit with the language that is very just kind of, like, covertly judging us or putting that little bit of disbelief there. Like, we are not liars. We are not predators. We are not in costumes. No, it's definitely a costume. You're wearing a fucking safety pin in your nose. It's a costume, all right? Period. I feel like one of these top comments says it perfectly. You are definitely wearing a costume. You have a safety pin in your fucking nose. And if people using the wrong words hurt your feelings, get tougher feelings. Your feelings don't have rights just like you don't have the right to be offended. Grow up and quit crying like a little baby. You little bitch. It's inappropriate, it's disrespectful, and it's ignorant. So fucking stop. Okay. Um, what else did I want to say here? Um, I guess that's it, honestly. Just... Just stop. Side note, this guy is really hairy. Like, really fucking hairy. I just feel like I had to point that out. He looks like a fucking Sasquatch. None of this is opinion. None of the, It's facts. These are facts that you need to get used to. Whatever. So, I just wanted to put that out there. Um, by all means, if you're non-binary, share this with somebody who needs to wake the fuck up and learn how to respectfully deal with you and, you know, talk to you and treat you if they want to be in your life. Because we're not negotiating. This is not a negotiation. You don't have anything to stand on. This is what you're going to abide by if you're going to be in our lives. And that's all there is to it. Honestly speaking, I don't know who would want this guy in their life to begin with. And it has nothing to do with the fact that he's transgender or he's not a gender or whatever the fuck he is. I mean, I have no idea, right? But it has nothing to do with that. But it's the fact that he's fucking annoying. He looks like he's trying to summon a demon when he talks while he moves his hands rapidly. He has a beard that looks like a fucking horseshoe. And last but not least, he wears a paper clip <laughs> as a nose ring. But no, I would not want this guy in my life. If you have things you would like to see me address on the non-binary, ask a non-binary part of my channel, ask a gender terrorist part of my channel, um, by all means leave comments for things that I can talk about and tackle and address. Um, I... We'll talk to you guys soon. Bye! Wait, he answers questions? Oh, that's awesome. I have the perfect question for him. Why are you wearing a fucking safety pin? But in conclusion today, if you're having troubles at school with bullies, if you're having troubles on the internet with cyber bullies, if you're having troubles anywhere, consider wearing a safety pin, because if anybody fucks with you, you can simply, well, kill them. Just shut the fuck up. Come on, guys, look how sad he is. Just shut the fuck up, guys. Come on. Come on, dude. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video today, and if you did, dude, it's your lucky day, because not only will you be defending me against the people that most likely will get offended by this video, which... I'm really not sure how, but whatever. But if you like today's video, you will be receiving 13 trillion dollars. No scam at all. It'll be right outside your house as soon as you like this video. And one safety pin. This is not a scam. But guys, thanks for all the support recently. This channel is just doing so well, and it's all thanks to you guys. So thank you so much. I hope you guys are having a great day today. And peace out. See ya.